What do you think uh, was a contributing factor for your team's success this year? A team chemistry. When I say team chemistry, that means that you know these kids have been in the same system for the last three years, the majority of them. They uh, know each other, they trust each other, and I think that has a lot to do with the fact that right now we're in a position to kind of control our own destiny. You know, if we do what we need to do tonight, that should carry over into a Friday night, and hopefully it'll carry on over into the last game on senior night where we have a chance to do something special. When I say special, I mean it's been a while since Marlin boys and girls have taken district at the same time. And I think that right there has a lot to do with the fact that the kids trust each other. The kids trust, trust our, the coaches. And as long as we trust each other, I think we have a chance to, again, control our own destiny. What does it mean for you as a coach to be number one in district? You know, I had this talk with my wife, and she's more excited, I think, about the fact that we have a chance to be number one. I know we're in that position right now, but I don't take any game for granted. But if a simple fact, I don't know what my kids are going to do from day to day. I know what I've teach them to do, but I know I'm dealing with a bunch of young men who are 14 to 15 years old. You know, you can't control their thoughts in game. Only thing you can do is try to teach them what they need to know and hope that they execute what you ask them to execute. And like I said, I mean, it feels great right now to be in that position, but I won't celebrate until it's all over. As you get ready to enter into the playoffs, do you think that size and factor will, will play a role in it? You know, at the beginning of this thing, I thought that the fact that we didn't have a big on the back end of what we're doing. But I think our size has played to our advantage for the simple fact that a lot of people have problems keeping up with our speed. You know, we don't have any bigs, true bigs, but all our kids are very interchangeable in every system that we run. And I think that has posed more of a problem for people to match up against us than it has for us to match up against them. What type of obstacles have you guys had to overcome as a team this year? We had a couple ups and downs, man. When I say ups and downs, I mean we've had to deal with grades. We had a couple blunders. You know, those, those kids who we didn't expect to have problems. We had a couple who had a couple issues, but those problems have been rectified. We've uh, also had an addition of a young man that we thought we were going to have at the beginning of the year, you know, to give me that, what everybody keeps saying, that one big on the back end of what we do. And I think right now it's just a matter of us getting him caught up to speed to what we're doing. I think we'll be fine. But none of those obstacles um, obviously prevented you guys from being in the position that you were in now. I mean, they really didn't deter us from where, where we were going. You know, it's always nice to know that you have some trusted young men on your bench that you can rotate in to cover certain spots when you need them. And, you know, but I have to say that the kids I have have done an excellent job of being able to maintain when those pieces that we needed weren't there. But now that those pieces that we needed are now in place, hopefully we'll do what we need to do. What's one word that you would say that best describes your team? Competitors. When I say competitors, I mean, there have been games where I thought we were down and out, teams were ahead, but they just constantly keep grinding on you. They constantly keep making you do what you don't want to do. They have, I think, the desire right now and the hunger to do what we said earlier, something special because of that competitive nature of them. What I've seen from start to finish, there have been people who have been there every game. And you know, as the season has progressed, the community support has gotten larger. And it seems as though it's gonna to continue to get larger because with us 
being in the position that we're in, I think everybody around here wants to be a part of the success of our kids. And the community, I think, has a great deal to do with us being in the position that we're in. Because we've had some tough road games. And we've had a nice following. And I hope it continues, you know, uh, not only for tonight's game, but the remainder of the season, hopefully, into the playoffs.